a title behind your name, you're saying that you're somebody. I'm minister, doctor, reverend. No. I'm a servant of the Lord. That's who I am. I'm here to serve the people. Read on. And the vision of all that has become unto you as the words of a book that is sealed. It's sealed. Go ahead. Which men deliver to one that is learned, saying, Read this, I pray thee. And he said, I cannot, for it is sealed. I can't read Revelation, it's sealed. Who said that? Mm -hmm. The sea is that are covered. So that's why they can't give it to you because they never learned it. Because their heart covets after something else. Mm -hmm. Isaiah 29, verse 12. 12. And the book is delivered to him that is not learned, saying, Read this, I pray thee. And he said, I am not learned. I am not learned. So now, the preacher can't teach it, and the people in his congregation can't teach it. Because the preacher don't know. The congregation don't know. So it's time for us to get out of this ritualistic way of going to church. We do it sort of, sort of, just because it's so. It's a tradition. But you're not learning nothing different from the first day you went. You're doing it, it's repetition now. You're just doing it because you was taught this is the way to God. But if you're not improving or getting to know the most high better, what good is it? So we have to examine this traditional institution. Answer this brother's question, uh, the reason for a passage, in Ezekiel 33 and 1. The reason for a passage, then we're going to go into the King Alfred's plan. So, did we answer your question, brother? Mm -hmm. All right. And that's another thing. Brother, that's, that's the order of a pastor or a preacher. Not to give you his own words, but to answer with the word of God. Do you understand? <clears throat> the Lord says, if any man speak, let him speak as the oracle of the Most High. That means he's supposed to come out here so you can be, so when I leave, you go through those scriptures and, ha and have it straight from the Father. Okay? Read Ezekiel 33 and 1 so we can see the, the purpose of passage. Again, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, speak to the children of thy people, and say unto them, When I bring the sword upon the land, if the people of the land take a man of their coast and set him for their watchman. He's a watchman. That's what a preacher is supposed to be. That means you trust this man to deliver to you God's messages. That's what he's being set up for. He's a watchman. Read. If when he seeth the sword come upon the land, he blow the trumpet and warn the people. That's the pastor's job. Because if you're connected to the Most High, there's judgment coming. The pastor should be able to tell the congregation, listen, according to these prophecies, some destruction is about to happen here. Like when we prophesy on the street, we let people know, according to God, this place is going down. You warn the people. That's what you do. You let them know, get right now. It's about to go down. You don't tell them, Everything is going to be all right. You don't take that's that's ridiculous. People looking out, people see things get things getting worse, and every week they get this guy talking about everything's going to be okay. Things are going to get bad. That's another thing. A preacher is supposed to tell the truth, man. You're not supposed to give somebody a temporary feel good so you can get some money. Tell them the truth. Don't worry about if your church is packed. Because if you tell the truth, people will start leaving, man. People start leaving. People won't tell people they can't celebrate Christmas. Look out there and lose half of their congregation, man. Because people would rather follow tradition than God. <coughs> Read on. Then whosoever hear the sound of the trumpet and take it not warning. So if this preacher said what God said and warned the people, if you don't take warning, read. If the sword come and take him away, his blood shall be upon his own head. That's on you. Why? Because the watchman did his job. He came to you, showed you what God said. Now you, it's up to you to follow. That's what a preacher is supposed to do. But let's see if a preacher don't do this. What happens? Read. He heard the sound of the trumpet and took not warning. His blood shall be upon him. So the blood is on you if a pastor or a preacher comes to tell you what God said and you don't listen. Like I said when I first started. We're not here to really go back and forth and deal with it. We don't really deal with whether or not somebody receive it or not. That's not on us. That's between the most high and the people whether or not they receive it. So we don't take anything personal. You know, we just throw it out there. And whoever the Lord wanted to fall on will follow him. 
You'll get, the, you'll get with your Bible. You'll start praying. You'll connect with him. Read. But he that taketh warning shall deliver his soul. But if you listen to what the watchman say, and, he, and if he sent from God, you will save your soul. Read. But if the watchman see this sport come and blow not the trumpet. But the watchman is sitting up there doing all types of stuff. And the trump, you know, and, and the, everything. We're in wars. Fires burning in California. Storms are touching down, destroying. Don't you know these are the same plagues that happened in Egypt? If you were a preacher, you should know that if you're reading the Bible. You, every time you look, them fires are still burning in California. The stock market then crash. $700 billion buyout to pay the people that stole the money from everyone else. He should be blowing a trumpet. Listen, everybody come to church, y'all. This thing is going down. This is what he should be doing every, every time he's in church. Listen, folks. He should be warning his people. Yes. God is mad at this country. He should tell them. God is peeved. He's sending fires, earthquakes, storms, tornadoes. These things are natural. The angels make all the things I've just mentioned. But yet, he's telling people, God is good. Don't it, don't it feel good today? No. No, man. These people trust your connection with the Father. They will hinge on your very word because they believe you are a man of God. You should use that influence to teach the Bible. Read. But if the watchmen see the sword come and blow not the trumpet, and the people be not warned, but the sword come and take any person from among them, he is taken away in his iniquity. But his blood will I require at the watchman's hand. So if somebody get taken in their congregation, and he didn't warn them, he's going to be sitting there before the Father with all their blood. So you should not have stepped in that position if you didn't know what you were doing. I was just thinking that before you got to that. If, if he... If the preacher is preaching that way, and then he does, and he knows it, and he doesn't warn the people, then it should be on his hands. Yeah, the Bible tells you it's on his hands. Why? Boy, they Before got a lot of blood on their hands. Yes, <laughs> they got a lot of blood on their hands. Yes, yes, they do. And see, that's why we'll take out our time with brothers and sisters. I don't care where it is. We, we go to a different city and sit wherever we need to sit because this is the time. We're living in the time that Christ was talking about, brothers and sisters. This is the time. It's going to get worse. It's going to get worse, brothers and sisters. Let me go into this King Alfred. Thing. So, wait a minute. So, you, are you saying that you are warning us that it's going to be worse so we can prepare for what's coming? Absolutely. Is that what you're saying? Absolutely. Okay, so how are we going? I mean, you warning us and you know this thing is coming. What are we to do to stop it? You first, don't know before we get out of here. First receive Christ. That's the first thing. I'm saying, I've done that. I've done that. Sister, this is what it is. You, you ask me a question, I'm going to answer. Okay. There's no way we would tell you that I something... Know. Listen, listen, listen I'm, I'm going to answer. There's no way, sister, that we would tell you something is coming and not tell you how to get out of the way. No way. So before okay. we leave here, you will know exactly what you have to do according to the Bible. Okay? So once you know, you'll, you'll be like, hold up, it wasn't, and please, when we leave there and we give you the scriptures on it, don't say, well, this brother said this, or this brother said that. What we want you to take from this, we want you to say, based on what I've read when this brother came, the Lord is saying out of this Bible, this. The Lord has showed me that. We're going to show you exactly what God said you have to do at this point. Now, if you don't follow it, okay. But you, we, we're going to give it to you, and, but it, it's, it, it's not all pretty. We're not going to paint a rosy picture for you. Because I'm